All right, so um, welcome back to another, uh, I guess you could say, team builder. So if you guys probably know from this, um, from watching the videos, PCBL, and me making this video alone, I'm basically doing another uh, team builder for uh, finals um, matchup. To be honest, um, this is going to be a battle of what we were up against uh, Mav Intensifies. Um, I think this is the first time we battle him this year, but the fact that as he actually made it to his like, finals, he was actually one of the top teams going early on in the season, but kind of dropped a bit, but then he bounced back. Came back as the, I think, the 6th seed, and I was able to make it into playoffs. Um, but he was able to make it in there. And just beat like some of the opponents that like kind of beat him as well. So, or no, I don't think he beat. No, I don't think he struggled against those opponents early on. I think he was able to like dominate them like both in the early season and in the postseason. So yeah. To be honest, um, this game can really come down to uh, several factors in my opinion. The fact is like, like you'll see what I mean. So. Like first he off he has a Proxitex, which let me show you because you can see me right now, so to be honest, Proxitex is very annoying for me. But the thing is, it actually does nothing to me. Like the only thing it does is just like wall certain mods, but that's it. Because there are certain mods that I could just you know, dig in and just uh as I like to say it. I mean, I only know that's gonna have Skull, Recover, and maybe some form of Toxic or Toxic Spikes. I know he loves running Knockoff as well, so... Um, I don't know if he was running around Haze, Bingful Bunker... Even some Poison Mode or... Another, uh... Like... Scary uh, Toxic Text matchup could be... Snatch or... Or... Block. But, to be honest... Um, that means he's not tearing Toxic Spikes, so yeah. Then we're going over, uh, Outon, which, since he has no sand, he used to have a Sandmon, which was Extra Drill, but he got rid of it. Um, but that's good, Hippo is kind of limited to ro being his rocker, his only viable rocker aside a Molo, so, and, and it's kind of limited to this coverage moveset, so, he can't really do much if he's gonna run rocks, he has to, like, run, like, let's say, Curse, plus, two coverage options so but since this team is very desperately needed for rocks it's like he needs another move for this so yeah then we have Kiram which has probably been his MVP throughout the the playoffs and it's very very scary if you ask me um probably gonna be the biggest threat to this, my team just going into this game um I know that he brought Toxic Pack no a powder on just because of rocks and probably to have a way to check Heatran, but Kiram, I could see him bringing just because uh, it actually pressures my team, <laughs> pun intended. But like, with Stab Ice Beam, uh, Draco Meteor, uh, and then you have like the option to run either Specs, Scarf, Roost, and Sub. I think the Sub Roost variant is actually the most deadliest version because Sub Roost Kiram could actually do a number versus my team. So, like, I have I do have mods against that, but I just gotta be very careful about it. So yeah, um, so yeah, like I just gotta be very careful about Kiram. Then we have Zork, which I think um, Zork has like some t set of options, but I think he can't run Nasty Plot plus Sludge Bomb because that's I think that's an illegal set. I know that's an illegal set for sure because of that's it's an event move, so yeah. Um but yeah. It could be like counter slash Megzor, but then again I don't really see anything I don't really see much of him going for it. He could also run Z moves, but I again like it really comes down to what he wants to bring, what I don't want to bring. Like his speed tier is very like fast, but not fast enough to outspeed Mega Latias, which Threatens it. Dark if it's weakened, so yeah. Then we have Aromatis, which is none of his other Pokemon he brought. And probably the more likely Pokemon he's gonna bring this game. So um pretty much I expect like some kind of cleric support Aromatis. 
or hell, even some kind of uh, even like um, I think there's a new move that Rheumatoid gets now, as I've learned. Nasty plot. I could see like nasty plot shirk room. Be a thing with Fairy MZ, uh, Wish, Moonblast, coverage option, and whatnot. This could be very scary if you think about it. So, um, yeah, I gotta be very careful about this guy, uh, gal, or whatever. Armaldo, I don't really see the point of him bringing Armaldo aside, bringing Rock plus Rapid Spin. But then again, it's just like, um, I don't know. It's like, he could bring Earthquake and, uh, and Exeter, but like the the thing is, this guy's coverage is limited and it's like kind of set up fodder. But you'll see what I mean when I would cover the other mom. Now there are like the other Pokemon. Like here are the other four that he also brought, except for Chemeka, but we'll go over it. But net, it's kind of interesting because I can't really say that it beats me, but it's very annoying. He. He basically has a 1v1 bond here with Destiny Bond Prankster. The fact that he has that just makes this matchup a little bit annoying. Like, I don't know what he wants with Manette. But the good thing is that he doesn't have, like, any... I don't think he has a way to set up besides Tom Mine. I think he also has Sword Sands, but... No, he doesn't. Oh, that's good. Like, he's always run Shadow Claw, Knock Off. Um, paint split, taunt, or something like that. Um, knock, paint split, not taunt, or destiny bond, so yeah. Even T Wave. I could, ex I could see like a T Wave in this game, but I'm not so sure. He's always ran an offensive Binet for some reason. Like, I could see him being very support based, but I'm not so sure. Like, I've seen him also run Gunshot for, you know, Gorgeous, but yeah. Um, the only thing I will say is that Binet. Can be annoying. It's just that it comes down to like what he's what his moveset is and what I I don't know. So, um, it can be annoying, but it just really comes down to his coverage options. Then we have another offensive threat, which is Cartana. Oh, Cartana is by far the biggest off I think physical threat from his team because. He has access to both Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, and even moves like X Scissor, and also like Knock Off, Night Slash, um, Psycho Cut. Like, he has some of the strongest coverage options imaginable for Kartana. Like, Kartana doesn't really have four Musat Syndrome, but at the same time, I feel like it's in a, in a weird scenario where, like, Matt has to choose whether to run like Scarf, like Sword Stance, or even the Sword Stance plus Speed Boost variant. Which then again, that's like I think uh, um, very annoying. I think he has to like run. Oh, to apologize. My apologies on that. This is basically level fifties, by the way. So, um, let me see. Yeah, he has to be like something like this just to be able to not boost up his his speed so yeah which is still like his attack stats are still reasonably high if you look at it like look at Bennett's like 238 176 is still really good if you ask me <laughs> so yeah but the thing is Kartana could be very scary if it has access to sword stance but at the same time it really depends on his coverage because something like this doesn't really isn't this is like you'll see what I mean when I get to the when I get to talking to you about what my matchup is, but like he literally has well then again even though I said he has four Musat four Musat, he in theory he doesn't have four Musat syndrome. He kinda does if he has four stance. Like if he runs four attack, he's 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 good. But the thing is him running scarf could be a problem as well, so yeah. Then we have Raikou, which I honestly think is another threat. But I think the reason why I see Raikou is just because he wants to pressure the Manaphy. And he might have something like Combine plus sort like Uzi move. Be able to break my Lati my Latias as uh I think that was like I think he ran Seed Shadow Ball and we were able to catch him there. So yeah. Um 
I don't know, like he might just bring Soul Switch. Uh Thunderbolt. And uh like, let's say Hidden Power Eyes, Shadow Ball, Calm Mine or whatever, so I don't think he's gonna bring Hidden Power Eyes, I think he brings Calm Mine. I I mean like if I have to say which of the two have the Z move, it's either gonna be one of those two. Or an Enkirum or Zork. Or yeah. Um then we have this, um this Snorlax, which is by far very scary if you ask me. Like Snorlax was probably the most annoying Pokemon I faced the last time I battled him. So even though I beat him, he the fact he got two paralysis on my Heatran and my Manaphy while getting another additional paralysis result paralysis rolls against my Manaphy was so annoying. I'm not gonna lie, that was probably like what that was probably the only thing that probably uh gave him the game. That nearly gave him the game was the consecutive paralysis turns because I honestly could have just beaten him right then and there. But of course paralysis is annoying in time, so yeah. Um in terms of what coverage option I okay, let's be honest, he's gonna bring curse. He's always brought Curse Lax against me. Um, this is like Snorlax third time versus me, and I think he's gonna bring it. Um, I don't know whether he's either gonna bring Facade or Body Slam. I, I just don't see what is. I don't see a return at all. The fact that I do have a, uh, uh, well, well, you'll see what I mean. I have a bunch of status options. I mean, this could be the time where he just brings Immunity Lax or even Thick Sweat, or. But then again, Gluttony doesn't really make sense because I have a lot of knockout Pokemon, like, available in my disposal, so... Um, so, it's either going to be Recycle or Rest, even though, I don't know if it would really bring Recycle. If he brings Recycle, that means he has Gluttony, by the way, so yeah. Then the coverage option between Crunch, Earthquake, so... I think he might bring Earthquake this time, but I'm not so sure. Like, that was probably the only reason why I actually did that, by the way. Um, by the way, if you, like, in that last battle, I actually scouted for Earthquake, but then I got punished really hard by getting paralyzed. And the fact that he had Crunch kind of, that was like, it was, it was annoying because, I was kind of frustrating because like, oh, I'm kind of, I don't want to lose Heatran, but then, oh shit, I just lost both Heatran and Manaphy because of a paralysis, so yeah. Um, I can see him running Belly Slam again, so yeah. Because it worked out for him, you know. Like, don't change much. I don't know. It's not broke. Don't fix it. So yeah. Um. So overall, Snorlax is really annoying. Lastly, we have Chimeco, which I'm gonna be honest. I don't see him be bringing this guy unless it's like some kind of like the only other set I could think of right now. Thank you for someone for notifying me of this. Uh, apparently this thing can learn Perish Trap. It's gonna be a Perish Trapper with Wish, Recover, um, Protect. So yeah. This thing can be very annoying, but I do have Pokemon that could just bypass it or just, you know, deal with it in general. Um, I'm not so sure how much speed he's gonna have because this is gonna be very important as well. Because, let's say if he has this much, then that's, that's really 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 annoying so yeah so i think that's just, that's my team right now so yeah all right so i have no idea what the fuck happened so um i'm just gonna be like continuing off so from where we left off so all right so i'm just gonna start over so um so mega latias is pretty much um our win con this game so not mine, my shock, Dragon Pulse Roost, so. Um, the reason why I'm bringing this set instead of like Defog is because well, there's there's a likelihood that he's not going to bring Toxapex this time around. Because Toxapex doesn't really do shit to me against Latias. He's kind of forced to run Haze and Toxic and not Toxic Spike. Like he has to run either or. But even then, it's like I'm hitting him this thing very toxic effects very hard with side shock, anyways. Like he's at, and even if he has haze, he's gonna have to come in on a boosted hit and then just get hit, etc. 
exceptionally hard, but yeah. Um, so even then, like, I think Latias just is able to just break apart his team, really. So the reason why I wanted Calm Mind was because I over Defog was, again, um, last time I had it was because I feared Toxapex, but now I haven't, I don't feel, really feel like this team is worried that much about it, so yeah. Um, Calm Mind is really nice because it allows me to break his team. Like, just look at his team. The only thing that could really stop it are, like, maybe Paralysis from, like, Snorlax. Um, Kartana being annoying. Like, with, with max HP. Hippo having, like, you know, Roar with the death. Which, by then, it's gonna take a, a chunk with Dragon Balls. And almost everything else. And Aromatis might just have, like, you know, Trick Room or Calm Mind of its own. And Vanette, you know, being, uh... You know, like the Destiny Bond and Mon, but then again, Ladias could just clean up if it wants to. So, um, I chose this over. I chose Shy Shock over, um, I believe uh, Psychic because I want to hit Snorlax harder. I know Curse. He could also curse up. So I also have Dragon Pulse in that regard. So yeah, I also have Dragon Pulse mainly to hit the. Uh, I believe is the Kira. So, and. Kartana, so I think at plus one, I'm able to Oko most variants of Kartana, so that's really nice. Um, but I have to be very careful about if he's like the more bulkier sets. So that the bulkier is that sets don't Oko me, but at all. So I, that's the only good thing about that. So yeah. So yeah. Um, next we have Fran, Um, with this Flame Body this week. And the only reason why I changed it to Flame Body are I had Flame Body originally, but I feel like that this time around I might as well run it. Um, my investment is pretty much almost the same. It's just maybe adding a little speed, a little uh, like apparently I needed like one speed point to outspeed like Adamant Max, uh, Adamant Armaldo. So I might as well, you know, I was like I might as well. So yeah. So I have. Stealth Rock, Slash Cannon, like Lava Plume, and Iron and Taunt. Now, the biggest change I made is like removing uh, Earth Power and adding Slash Cannon. Now, Earth Power was only useful against hitting Raikou and the potential card um, Tox effects, but then I realized, well, like Combine Aromatis kind of beats this team in a way. <laughs> so, I decided to give Heatran Flash Cannon and give it another stab option. This like this pretty much Heatran is able to handle his Steel Dragon Fairy Core. It beats Kartana in a way because I have a lot of defense investment, so he has to take a lot of hits. Unless he's fighting me, um, I'm able to hit live the hit and possibly burn it with Flame Body, which is really nice. Um, and go with Lava Plume. I also have Flash Cannon for Aromatis, which will two shot at most variants, and I also have even if it goes for a Combine one. Then I have a Kyurem, which I think it drops to like, if Kyurem tries to switch in, it's gonna drop to Flash Cannon and it's gonna light, but there's a good chance he could live, but he's gonna be very, very low, so, assuming I get up rocks, but yeah. Um, overall, I love this guy. The only thing I don't like is that it doesn't handle Toxapex anymore, but then again, I don't wanna, I, I, I never wanted to have that situation. I, I do have Taunt, but again, like, when the hell am I gonna, put Heatran against Toxapex. It's like, I, he's gonna win that war, in the sense that he's just gonna like be able to um, wear me down. He he has Regenerator. Like, I know people say, oh, you can have air power just to hit Toxapex, but to be honest, it's really annoying. Like, yeah, but at the same time, I, I Heatran's only role in this game is just to check some of the better, deadlier Pokemon. So yeah. And I, Tox Effects isn't one of those Pokemon at all. Like, Latias can deal with Tox Effects right now, as well as my other Pokemon, which is Manaphy and Rigadile, a degree greater, so yeah. So, um, so that's my uh, Heatran set. Then we have Manaphy, which is a Gualberry. And this is probably the biggest change I've made. Because originally this was uh, Timid Manaphy, because it outspeeds, uh, Timid Manaphy outspeeds uh, Hero. But this time, I'm kind of neglecting that and just going almost max defense. Or near max defense, switching off speed to outspeed uh, Adamant Bennett. I don't 
I really doubt he brings Jolly. I 100% doubt he brings Jolly Bennett. If he does, that's a good bang on his end. So, um, but with Surfs, I can substitute Tail Glow. This is really nice because I can actually set up a plus three. Like, like this thing actually can set up on like this. The reason why I have this a lot of defensive medicine is because I can actually set up a substitute on a noble or non-offensive variant Snorlax, which even then, like, if it's not adamant, wait, that, there's a good chance he might just have careful nature, or, like, something specially defensive, or even, like, but if he has no, little to no attack investment, I could set up on, Magic can set up on the Snorlax, and the thing is, I do have a Surf over Skull, because, um, one, Surf gets me more Okos, like, at plus three, I Oko Cortana as is, and the other is that I actually get the, uh, Cartana, like, I mean, Snorlax can get two shots in, with, like, plus six surf, so. I do have Psychic because, obviously, Tox Effects is annoying as hell, so. And also the hit Kiram. So, speaking of Kiram, I think Kir like, the, like, what I'm, what I'm saying is that Kiram, if it has the sub -tox if it's either the Subtoxic variant or the, uh, Sub-Protect Stall variant, that's a really annoying set. But then again, I could set up on it, so. If Matt plays around that, me like that, then I'll probably just keep spamming Surf until it gets like low. So yeah, um, I do expect Manaphy to be have a huge game this game today. So if he has Raikou at most, I'm able to get like two or three kills with this guy. But, yeah. Um, I don't really say I don't expect like much on Manaphy, but the fact that this has has a lot of defensive investment gives me a good physical wall. Like for this team, I almost thought about bringing a. DM combine rain dance, but I felt that Tox Effects just kind of walls that set, and he could just bring Cartana or Raikou anytime. So yeah, so that's why I have this guy because I want to at least get two kills with this, or two three kills, and from there I just go from there. But yeah, then we have Florges, which is very interesting guy, uh, gal. Came in very clutch last game, and I hopefully comes comes in clutch this game. Um. I do have a lot of defense investment just because one, um, I believe the uh, Snorlax, um, no, it takes a hit a smart strike from Carton and I, I could two shot it within this last, so yeah. But I'm able to if he tries to switch into this guy or with Carton, then yeah, I'd be able to take a hit. Um, I do have Wiki Gary because potentially the I could get worn down, so yeah. Um, I do have Wish Defog Aromatherapy now. I didn't want to put this set. I think I wanted to put Toxic on Roman Therapy. I think that's just the only change I had. So originally I had Toxic and over Defog, but I felt like Defog was like kind of necessary in case like X can you know set up. But even then, like I, I think I could prevent Toxic Spikes damage on either Manaphy. I think that's the only guy. That's the only thing on my team that really doesn't like Toxic Spikes on an L. So, so yeah. By the way, I have Defog, just an option just to remove hazards. Um, I, I could have put Combine, really. I think Combine was the only other set I've considered on the uh, Forges. Because, uh, of course, it just handles everything except for Tox Effects. But, um, and again, I don't want to be in a CM War versus, you know, Aromathera. I mean, uh, against the potential Psych Shock uh, uh, Aromathera, so yeah. Um, there's not really much of, I wanted to, like Forge to do, it's just being a cleric. So I don't want Latias, Manaphy to get toxic. So this is pretty much it. I want to recover some of my mons at the cost of Forges. Um, I don't want Forges to be set up fodder, but at the same time, Forges is like pretty much a good re recover Pokemon. So yeah, um, it has a lot. It's a very, pretty much a good utility Pokemon in general for this game. Um, it's probably the only mon that doesn't like let me lose to like. Doesn't make me lose to, uh, you know, Kiram. Kiram is just so annoying, especially if it hits specs. So yeah. Um, but I think, I think it's like Liz Forge just said, fine, in the sense that I could just wall his special attackers for eight days. Like in a way, I have like two or three special defensive walls that he has to break through against. So yeah. Um, like I don't know how he's gonna deal with this. So then we have a. Uh, um, last thing I will say is that I do put Wikiberry just because I felt like one. 
Um, I didn't really like the idea of running uh, lefties again on the potential sandstorm on his Paladon. And the fact that like I feel like getting immediate recovery is nice, so yeah. Then we have uh, Girder, which is almost the same. It's exactly the same set as before with Dream Punch, Moth Punch, Knock, uh, knock Off, and Bulk Up. Now, like I don't think there's much I changed here. So yeah, um, at all. Like of course you notice Dream Punch, Moth Punch. It's really tried to tried and true uh, coverage options for the Pink Elder line. So yeah, um, and especially for this game, like. Aside Pex and even Aromatis, like, and Aromatis and Chimeco, like, Girder just has fun. Just, Girder literally has fun against this squad. Like, I don't see how he, like, if I'm able to get up a boost, and I get rid of Aromatis and these two, and with both up, it's gonna be very difficult for him to, like, stop. Because I'm able to recover off of damage, or even Mach Punch. And if he tries to status me, that's gonna give me even more power, so yeah. Which I almost expect him to do, so. I do have Mod Punch as insurance policy versus the uh, Kartana or any fast Pokemon. It did give me a very clutch last game, so yeah, that's why I'm keeping it there. Uh, knockoff is really nice because, you know, removing items, checking whether there's Demon, good informational moves, like, there's nothing wrong with it, so yeah. And Bulk Up because I want to increase my defenses on offensive attack power, so yeah. There's not really much I want to say except that. Girder is probably the most important, one of the more important Pokemon or Gulu Pokemon in this matchup. And I really don't like, I really feel like Girder has been one of my, has been the sixth Mon of this team, really. So, given like how my team matchups have always been boxed in, I feel like Girder has always been that Pokemon I could actually just, I could just bring it reliably and I'll just like, oh, okay. You know, and you could just do work, so yeah. Um, I think it did work against the second battle. It did work versus Mav, and now and it did work versus uh, Kevin. So now it's, I feel like it could do work against Mav again. But I think Mav will probably expect it. So either way, like if I'm able to get rid of his those like the Aromatis and the Chimeco, I think Gerda does a lot in towards the end game. So yeah. Then lastly, we have Crocodile, which is Scarf Moxie, and. Everything on my team is a threat, but this guy is like probably the biggest threat to his team. Like, tell me something. Earthquake. 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 Earthquake, 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 Earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, that thing's got silent there, but yeah, like, um, Cortana or Crocodile is just gonna, like, Adamant Moxie is just gonna destroy this guy. If I once I get up rocks, this thing's just gonna be and once everything's weakened, Crocodile can literally just come in and sweep. I'm not I'm I'm literally not kidding. Like like the only thing I, that's really annoying is the the Chimeco. But I do have access to uh knockoff, which is nice. So yeah. It would have been nice if I had like a choice band, but of course Serum is really really annoying as well as Cortana. Like, having another Pokemon off speed, Kartana and Raikou is very nice, so yeah, and Kyurem. So, and once I get up rocks, like, and everything else is weakened on his team, then it's gonna be very, very hard for him to, like, even come back in this game, so yeah. Um, I do know that Banette just can't even burn this thing, but he can go for Destiny Bomb, because based on how moves work, like, move priority works, it's like, Destiny Bomb works at the very last turn. So, it it works, it works like kind of like, um, immediately. Like that's the whole Destiny Ball and slash, uh, or the whole like Prankster slash, uh, Dark type interaction now in Gen Seven. Of course, you all know that Crocodile is immune to like status and op for Prankster status now. However, um, with Destiny Bond, it's only it it has to work 
it is sort of a weird decreased priority in the sense that like like yes destiny bond he's able to get it up in first but then like you have to like you have to he has to wait for me to attack it can only work during that turn interaction when he's going first i say like you know he's going for pain split it won't go it won't work on him so yeah so, yeah um overall i do think that crocodile um, the only thing I changed from the other one is like I think I had like Aqua Tail, but then like I really don't think like I need Aqua Tail. Like I have like I literally have Earthquake. So yeah, I had I do have like Knock Off just to remove items and Super Power just for Katana if it gets if, if it becomes a threat. So yeah, and Toxic because I want to if I rather Toxic stuff like let's say an Aromatis on Raikou or Hippo. So. And there was no other Pokemon I could put Toxic on. I thought about putting Rocks. I, I really thought about putting Rocks on this guy. And having Heatran with, like, let's say, even, uh, Substitute or, or like, Toxic or even, like, uh, the Magma Storm variant. But, to be honest, I just did not like that. And I felt like Toxic on Crocodile is just, like, safer. So. And it gave Lord just the option to have Defog, so yeah. Um, so I think that's the team, so I feel like Latias, Manaphy, Crocodile, and Girder are like potential win cons this game. Heatran's really nice. And Florges as well, so yeah. I I know this is like almost this is exactly the same team I brought. Well then again, how much how diff how how much is it the same is it? Well it's almost, to be honest. Like yeah. Almost the same, but then again, this team I think was much more like, much more threatening. Or the other guy was like, Kevin was much more threatening if you ask me. Then again, yeah. This one's slightly more bulkier, but it has so much setup potential that's not even funny. Yes, Pex could be a problem, but if he gets into a corner, then yeah, Pex can also be handled like, as well, so yeah. So I guess that's the team builder, so it took a little bit longer, but honestly I'll stop here. So um hopefully you guys um enjoy this video and hopefully we are able to win our seventh or like okay, okay, I have to now I have to post that video. <laughs> oh damn it. <laughs> that's a minor spoiler, but um hopefully we win another championship. Um Okay, by the way, I, I haven't played them yet. It's just that, like, there's another championship I'm in, so that might be another thing, so yeah. Damn it! <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, hopefully we are able to win against them, so, yeah. And hopefully any dogs we have outside don't bark right now, so. <laughs> um, I do feel like this team really works very well against them, so... Like, I feel, I feel like, like, that's pretty much what I did. I just made minor adjustments. I feel like, um, CM Latias is just going to do a lot of work. And then this, and between CM Latias, Manaphy, Keytran, that's going to, like, help me out to where, like, Girder and, like, Crocodile can just end the game. You know, similar to what happened in the last game, so. So that'll be it, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this team builder, and we win another championship. So, I guess be part ways so see you guys <laughs>